Mr. Juan Ponce Endile. I'm not going to deliver a speech to you, but uh, I will wait for your questions and you can ask anything. But uh, just make yourself uh, clear, concise, and direct to the point, okay? Hi, sir. Good morning po. Sir Maricel Halili po from TV5. Sir, I understand kahapon nag-file na po kayo ng... Sir, nag-file na po kayo ng COC kahapon as independent. Bakit po na bago yung party? I'll have to explain that. Yesterday, I asked my lawyers to prepare a COC for me, which they did, and I signed it, and it was filed. Now, uh, some people advise me that uh, my uh, uh, address should be where I vote during elections. But they said, a senator can only uh, does not need to put an address. He's not running for a local office. He's running for the national office. All he has to do is to reflect that he is a resident of the Republic of the Philippines during the period needed to qualify him. But anyway, in order not to prolong the issue, I revised it and then corrected some uh, misprints or uh, typographical error. Plus, at yesterday I was running as an independent because uh, I thought that uh, uh, I forgot that I was a member of Puerto Rico Filipino during the last election, where I, I became a senator. So, Jinga Estrada called me up and said, Manung, you have to carry Puerto Rico Filipino. And I said, yes, how, how, how will I do that? I'll have to give you a co corner. Go ahead, I said, then I will. Then I checked uh, to uh, here in the commission of election whether uh, I can send my lawyers to do the correction, and they said, no, you have to, uh, to be present at you, so I, I came today. And also to disabuse the mind of the people that I'm physically decrepit to run for public office. Hi, sir. I'm Salima Rafran of GMA7. Sir, lalapit na oh, yeah, po sa inyo. Oh. Yes, sir. Opo. Yeah, sir, I see you most often. Hi, sir. Opo. Sir, yun nga po, uh, Pinayagan po kayo makapag-bail ng Supreme Court dahil po sa health reasons, sir, and you are 94 years old. Bakit po tayo tumatakbo well, ulit? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, when I was in uh, Camp Rami, I was really physically infirm because uh, I was immobile. I was uh, uh, I was confined. And uh, my, li my little room was so limited that I could not exercise. So, uh, the, the Supreme Court, and I thank them for it, I granted my bail on humanitarian grounds because if I stayed there until today, maybe I'm dead now. I'm not running for uh, the Senate. But because I was released by the Supreme Court, I, I was mobile. I go to my province every month by, by car, traveling 15 uh, hours by car, and uh, it uh, added to my stamina. And that's why I'm, uh, I can still stand today and walk erect. Okay? Sir, uh, ano po yung secret ninyo, sir? You are 94 years old. Sir, kung manalo ka dito, 6 secret? years, 100 years na kayo, sir. I don't, I, I hope I will, uh, I will reach 110. But, uh, you know, in life, you cannot control your number of years on this planet. It, the control is to God. He can make it long, he can make it short. Who knows? It's, I might outlive uh, the others who are uh, in the Senate today. I'm not saying that I am immortal, but only God knows. Sir, if you win as a senator, po, do you still have plans to run for presidency? No more, no more. That's too much. I, to be president is a heartbreaking uh, chore, you know. You can see President Duterte is having... Uh, can. Uh, tireless uh, days and uh, realistically with my age I cannot do that 
Sir, meron pong reaction laban sa interview niyo po with Bongbong Marcos. Meron din pong natuwa. Are you happy with the reaction of the public? And ano pong inexpect niyo na reaction, sir? I did, I did not uh, do that to gain happiness. I did it to, to answer questions. I was asked questions, I answered them. That's all. In the same manner that you ask me questions, I will answer your question. You can ask me any question, uh, I will answer it. Do you think it could affect on your candidacy, po? Beg your pardon? Do you think it could affect on your candidacy, sir, yung reaction, vi uh, yung video interview? Just uh, speak uh, slowly. Sir, do you think it could affect on your candidacy po yung naging reaction ng public sa interview niyo po with Bongbong Marcos? Who, who should be the vice president? Is that it? Is that your question? Sir, do you think it could affect po on your candidacy yung naging interview niyo po with Bongbong Marcos? I will not make a judgment. That is, it is up for the public to judge that. I have my own story as others have their own story. And uh, I listen to their story. And if they think that my story is strong, show me, prove it that it's wrong. What, what did I say in my interviews? All I said is that we did not adopt a policy of killing people with impunity. That's why many people who are talking today and criticizing the, our society are still alive. They were alive in my time. Then people twisted my statement that according to Enrile, no one was arrested during martial law. I never said that. Sir? Hello, sir? Sir, this way, sir. sir. Another question. Hi, good morning. Halika. Uh, sir, ano hong masasabi ninyo dun sa mga kritiko ninyo na sin... So, ano mga? Sa mga kritiko po ninyo na sinasabi po nila na kung kaya nyo pong tumakbo bilang senador at 94 years old, ay kaya nyo din daw pong iserve yung uh, uh, pag-spend sa... ng oras sa uh, Camp Crame. I leave it to the courts. If they want to cancel my bail, uh, I leave it to them. But uh, uh, as, as I said, the plunder case against me, so far there has been no trial because uh, the, the uh, evidence of the government is very weak. That is a made up uh, story against the three of us. And uh, only the courts can pronounce me guilty and presume to be innocent. Sir, sir, you have been in public service for so long. You, you have reached nine, uh, 94 more than, more than a half century. A century. Yes, sir. What, uh, is there something left to do at this point since you are running again? What, what do I intend to do? Yes. What are the problems that uh, are facing the country? Tell me. Inflation, criminality, insurgency, the deteriorating uh, peso value, and you have problems of uh, possible wars in our surroundings, and then scarcities of uh, resources, and many other problems. Has, that, has there been any in-depth, intelligent discussion of these issues before the people so that they will understand what is up for them, what, will they, what problems they will face? For instance, in the case of federalism, has anyone studied this uh, proposal in depth? Tell me. I have studied it in depth, word for word, phrase by phrase, clause by clause, from page one to, to from the preamble to section 22 of uh, that proposed constitution. And there are many inconsistencies, flaws, gaps and inanities. To prove it, read my study that is in my Facebook. It's there, the whole thing. All my observations are in capital letters. Next question. Thank you, sir. Sir, just to enjoy spot from CNN Philippines. Yes. Sir, just to clarify, are you now saying, sir, that you are not sat? Are you saying, sir, that you are not satisfied? 
You know, I am not used to your to your modern English, so please, I'm a provincial. Sir, are you saying you are not satisfied with how the Senate is performing right now? That's I'm not why you saying want to that. Back, I'm not saying that. But to be a senator, I must tell you from my experience, to be a senator, you must have a wide and deep intellectual background to perform your role as a senator of the republic. Hindi pwede yung popularity lang o oh, dahil ikaw ay gustong iboto ng tao. Kailangan na makatulong ka sa solusyon ng mga problema ng bansa. Or you can suggest some ideas how to solve them. Sir, uh, you are 94 now. And when you finish your term, you will be 101. Well, maybe I'll be 105. <laughs> Who Sir, knows? I might reach 110. All right. Sir, just curious, did your doctor give you clearance to still run? My, my blood pressure is 120 over 60. What's your blood pressure? Thank you, sir. Okay. Is there any more questions?